Adding to the woes of the NTA government, facing the heat over writers returning their Sahitya Academy Awards, RTI activists have now boycotted Prime Minister's inaugural session at CIC convention, celebrating 10th anniversary of the RTI law. Activists allege that only seven were invited for PM session, which is unfair and against the spirit of RTI. You know, I'm being a veteran of 36 years. I can understand the security more than probably anybody else. So there cannot be any laxity in case of a security of our prime minister. But the way, hush-hush way it is done, and it has been uh, made different for different people's standards, that may not be ordered. Because we cannot have this whole convention is meant to carry out a one year's postmortem, which is a stakeholders who are the RTI users or rather say they are the practitioner and those who are the government who are the provided. So it is a, like a partnership between two where the point should be discussed ki what are good things happen in one year, what are the shortcomings and to jointly sit and together. But to have the entire thing on a government people sitting there and you do not have the people who are the actual user of it and who like to discuss it. State Information Commissions were also invited to send names of activists. All of this was done and people were in fact told that yes, come to Delhi, your invitations are being finalised. Then at the last moment, when once the Prime Minister said that he will be coming, they suddenly withdrew a lot of the invitations and finally only seven or eight of us have been invited. Further, for the first time ever in an unprecedented move, this time IB checks were done on all our backgrounds. We were asked things like, who are your parents? What do they do? What do you think of the current government? This is something that we've never experienced before. And several of our colleagues were told that as you're a security, due to security reasons, you cannot be invited to the convention. Now, this is something that's unprecedented and we really protest against this sort of treatment of people. On what basis are they being called security threats? How come till now they were not security threats and this time they are? Well, in the backdrop of the boycott, Prime Minister addressed the event uh, while stressing on the need for transparency in a flourishing democracy. सूचना के अधिकार से सबसे पहली बात सामान्य से सामान्य व्यक्ति को जानने का अधिकार हो, लेकिन वहाँ सीमित न हो। उसे सत्ता को क्वेश्चन करने का भी अधिकार हो और यही लोकतंत्र की बुनियाद है और हम उस दिशा में जितनी तेज गति से काम करेंगे उतना लोकतंत्र के प्रति लोगों का विश्वास और बढ़ेगा लोगों की जागरूकता एक प्रकार से शासन को भी ताकत देती है और न सिर्फ शासन को राष्ट्र की भी एक बहुत बड़ी अमानत बनती है जागरूक समाज का होना